Welcome back to Squawk Box. I'm Phil Abo with breaking news regarding Delta Airlines. Delta following what we saw from United Airlines not too long ago, leveraging its frequent flyer program. This morning, Delta announcing that it will be borrowing $6.5 billion. Again, it is going to be basically leveraged to the SkyMiles frequent flyer program. The money will be used to boost Delta's liquidity. Let me give you some perspective on where Delta stood on liquidity at the end of the second quarter. We'll get updated numbers within the next month as to where they are at the end of the third quarter. $15.7 billion in liquidity at the end of Q2. That was enough for 19 months of liquidity at the end of the second quarter. But they've been bringing their cash burn down. This is all about debt and cash burn, how quickly they've been able to bring that down, get back basically to break even. They had $13.9 billion in debt at the end of the second quarter. The daily cash burn at the end of Q2 was $27 million a day. The estimate from most analysts is that Delta is probably in the range of between 20 and $25 million a day right now. But again, that's purely an estimate. All of this means that Delta, because it now has this additional $6.5 billion, will not will not be borrowing money from the Treasury Department. It had initially uh, indicated that it would borrow about $4.6 billion. That's how much it had been approved for. But now, guys, they have made the decision, look, we have borrowed this against the Frequent Flyer Program, so we will not be taking money out from the Treasury Department. As you know, there are a number of stipulations with borrowing from the Treasury Department, including warrants, uh, including caps on certain amounts of pay, et cetera. So that will not be happening. Guys, back to you. Hey, Phil, let, let's extrapolate out from this, though. Is this Delta specific in terms of their own strength? What does this mean for an American Airlines or others who may be trying to come up with private market solutions uh, right. to raising capital at a time when they're also asking for a handout uh, from taxpayers? Well, remember, the decision on whether or not to borrow from the Treasury Department, that has to be finalized by the end of this quarter. So you're talking what? Two, two weeks, a little over two weeks away, where you have to say, yes, we will borrow this amount. And American Airlines is what people, that's the focus right now, because American has said, we do intend to take a loan from the Treasury Department, a little over $5 billion, I believe. Um, but American also has the option at some point that it could leverage its frequent flyer program uh, as, uh, really, we're talking about you want to get as much liquidity as you can for the next couple of years. Because if you heard Scott Kirby on Face the Nation yesterday, he said they don't expect it to come back, the entire industry, until at least the end of next year when there's a vaccine in place and it's been in place for a while. So you have to ride out at least the next 15 months, if not longer. And when you're looking at what Delta's done today, they had 19 months worth of liquidity at the end of the Q2. This will give them additional liquidity. We'll find out, you know, guys, what, within about three or four weeks, just how much more time they have bought themselves, so to speak, in terms of this additional money.